Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Thanks for tuning into our channel once again. The channel's been growing in a lot of support recently, and uh, thank you guys for that. It's super dope. And today we're gonna do a little video, a little solo freestyle from uh, Zane Tattoos here. Put an Instagram link right there. We're gonna be talking about some do's and don'ts today. Do's and don'ts for tattoo shops, generally speaking. Uh, the first thing right off the top of my head is when you book an appointment, please be on time. And when I say that, five minutes early at most. Try not to be too early to your appointment because <laughs> we're usually booked out and you're gonna be disappointed because you get there and we're still tattooing and have to break down and set up. So show up on time to your appointment. Secondly, do not try to get a cheap tattoo because it's not gonna be good. I feel like that should be obvious. If you go around searching for a $60 tattoo, unless it's on some type of special flash sale day, you're probably not gonna get something that you're happy with for the rest of your life. Nine Aww. out of 10 times. Do always tip your artist if they do a good job and you had a good, happy time in the environment that they provided for you. The service that they gave you was excellent. Definitely always tip your artist well because we put all of our hearts and livelihoods into this. Do not show up to your appointment super trashed or high. I feel like that's pretty obvious, but a lot of people don't get that sometimes. They'll go out with a brunch with their friends and come in tipsy. This obviously makes your blood thinner and makes it harder for us to see different tones in your skin when we get into shading and uh, will make you bleed more. So yeah, definitely don't do that. Do drink lots of water and eat a good meal the night and days leading up to your tattoo appointment. This will result in your body being more equipped to handle the pain and uh, will overall make the experience much more comfortable for you. If you have a good meal in your stomach, the day of the tattoo, and lots of water, that's super important. I can't stress that enough. All right, another one. Don't try to be moving other parts of your body a lot when you're getting tattooed. A lot of people don't get this, you know what I mean, but if you're getting tattooed on your arm right here and it's on an armrest, and to cope with that pain, you decide to start shaking your leg, you know what I mean? Your arm starts to move and uh, that's gonna affect the quality of your tattoo. So, hold still. I kind of almost meditate when I get tattooed. You know what I mean? Just really focus on my uh, breath and counting it in and out. I feel like that is a piece of advice that I give all of my clients before I start. That really helps them a lot. Do not be super anxious to get tattooed. It really isn't ever insanely unbearable. You know what I mean? Um, nobody here is doing hack jobs and scarring people up. There's no uh, coil chainsaws <laughs> in the shop. Might get some flack for saying that. But um, do not come to the shop with your entire posse um, unless the shop's been prior notified. If you're just getting tattooed and you show up with like five plus people, let's say, it's just, you know, your friends don't just want to sit around while you fucking get tortured for like three hours, you know what I mean? But if they want a tattoo or piercing, then it is our job to accommodate for them. So do bring people um, and notify us prior, obviously, that want tattoos or piercings because we do that shit and it's dope. Do be very attentive to your tattoos and piercings after you get them. Our side of the ball, we handle getting a high quality product on your skin or in your skin as far as piercing goes. And uh, we do it in a very sterile environment. We clean the shop once in the morning, once at night, and throughout the day constantly. Everything's always checked and done. All the products that we use on people are single use, so there's zero risk of cross-contamination. So once you have that product in your body and you leave the shop, you know what I mean? Just be, just be aware of what you're getting around, what type of bacteria and germs you're exposing yourself to, because uh, that can affect the quality again of your tattoo, and we'd hate to see that, you know what I mean? We want you guys to have the best product possible at Sharky's Paradise. Tattoo Lovers Care, we uh, carry that here. 
super great, all natural, has CBD in it, which is dope. The best tattoo glide and aftercare that I've ever seen. So yeah, definitely come and when you get tattooed, cop some of that. Put it, put a little fancy image of it right here. Do not fucking be touching your piercings a lot after you get them, unless you've washed your hands. Clean them once in the morning, once at night, and outside of that, leave them alone because your hands go everywhere. You know, I mean, skip, scratch your butt. You know what I'm saying? And then you fucking, oh, my, my earring's not perfect. And then fucking bam, your ear's infected. You know what I mean? So be aware of shit like that. If you guys are watching this right now and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do that. We appreciate the support a lot. You guys are dope as hell. Thank you so much for your continued support. Yeah, have a great rest of your day. And it's 420 right now, so fucking happy 420. Peace.